and uh, wish me luck. Like I said, I don't know if this is the best idea, but I think it's going to work. We'll see. Okay, so my camera keeps fogging up. Hold on a second. It is kind of moving day for us. Um, we've brought a couple loads over here to the trailer. Uh, if you guys seen our last couple videos, we are back from vacation. Um, we were back when we posted that. If you watched till the end, you see, you've seen that. Um, thank you so much for you guys watching the video. I know it was a long one, um, but it's one that we wanted to capture for memories. We needed that break so bad, um, the, the vacation time and all that, because we knew um, as soon as we got back, it was it, we were going to hammer it to the wall. We were going to get things done. We got like four days um, to get stuff moved completely out of the house, get moved in here, and go close on our house. So we're showing you a little bit of moving in today. You know, I'm going to hook up the generator for the. Is it hot in there? Okay, the bat the batteries are dead. I gotta hook the generator up. Um, so the um, the batteries are dead on there. We knew that would happen. I'm gonna hook the generator up for the first time, and then we're gonna start moving some stuff in here. We should have power in here now. Turn, let's turn the thermostat on. These lights should work now. Yeah, right here. Right here. You know what? It's got awning lights too. Oh yeah. Oh, you see the lights out here, Brandy? We got a strip of lights out there too. That's cool. I know. I gotta get. Just turn the air conditioner on. Hold on. We're still figuring stuff out. Lights are working. Excuse me, excuse me. And put this on my bed. They're, they're gonna start unpacking stuff. I'm gonna get this air conditioner figured out. Oh, we'll show them when we're done. I'll set the camera if you guys come in. Kelly, set that on this kitchen table right here. Kelly, set that box on this kitchen table. Okay, set that in there. Okay, the air just came. Yeah, the air just came on. I heard it. Did you hear the generator maker noise? I don't know if y'all heard that. Yeah, I, I there, that means that air conditioner just came. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah. Oh, uh -huh, it's gonna cool down quick in here. Hey, Hadley. We can mess with that later, okay? Oh. So Brandy has brought some stuff over. Are you gonna unpack stuff now? Just some, okay, she's gonna unpack some I'm just stuff. Trying to figure out how much space we actually have in drawers and cabinets. Because we kept a lot of stuff, knowing that we probably kept too much stuff. So she wants to try to get as much stuff in here as she can to be, figure out exactly what we need. Um, I know some people told us to try to tub and put them up underneath the. Yeah, and there's all kinds of like hacks and stuff online, but we didn't go on, so I don't really got to look at stuff. Look at that. So I'm gonna get the stuff out of the back of the, out of the dash truck. How can we leave this for our bedroom? Okay, go take it in there. And Lola's gonna sleep in our bedroom. She is. Yeah. So we have a lot of stuff planned that we haven't talked about on camera. That a lot of you guys are giving suggestions. Um, the generator is not gonna stay that close to the camper. That's just for right now while we're getting everything moved. And then once once we're out here in the next week, not even week, like four or five days. Um, I'm going to be moving that away. I'm going to make a little uh, sound bear and stuff like that. So it actually isn't even that loud inside there being that close. So I know once I move it away, get, this, get the sound barrier up, it ain't going to be a big deal. Um, but I would like to build some sort of deck coming off here. So there's a lot of things that we are going to do. We're just in the process of getting moved out here. And then we'll go all in the detail on all that stuff. So I'm going to set the camera up, let them move in and out. I got to get some stuff out of the truck to put in the shed and we'll be back in just a minute. We 
got we got our movers just showed up. Yeah. Hey, the movers showed up. You can come out and meet them. The movers showed up, Brandy. You want to come out and meet them? Yeah. All right. All right. The movers are here. Who wants to try the first cherry tomato? Really good. Yeah, I like tomatoes. You don't like tomatoes? No. Those are my favorite. Here, Brandy. I'll try one. It's a, that's the only one. Let mom. Let mom try it. It's a bubble. Is there any water? Uh, watering there. Yeah, they're huge now. When you only get a look at them. Hey! She didn't save you, Mike. How rude of you. <laughs> well, I guess I'll Is it good? Stem. You'll have to go pick your own. Don't eat the stem. I didn't. Let's see, Brandy, have you realized that there's not a lot of space? I or is it what you thought? Can I eat a tomato? Huh? Uh, 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 no comment. There is no more. If you find another one, you can, but they gotta be red. Do you, like, do you like tomatoes? No, but I'll try nope, them. Are we gonna go look at the plants? Yeah. Where are they? Over here by the well. Here? No. They're over here. Oh. By the well. We're going we're going to the well to look at the plants. <gasps> A squash. Over here now. Don't find them, only tiny ones. That's a huge squash. Let's go to bed. Okay. All right, what are we doing, Vince? We're about to get these chickens. <laughs> what chickens are they? Hey, it's moving night, but when it's they see it'll night. be when they see it'll be moving day. I don't know if they can see that or not. Oh yeah. Uh, think you'll ride? Uh, she'll ride, she'll ride. If it, if it don't, it should have. Yeah, it's so, only what, 30 foot? <laughs> in my head, this, this I, was a lot smaller. But now once we got on a trailer, it looks like we're getting ready to go bell some hay, don't it? Uh, Look okay. at it, it looks like a hay beller. <laughs> That's that funny. Does, it? Yeah, it does. That's so, uh, yeah. So what we're going to do, um, we're going to try to, we're going to catch the chickens, put them in here while they are sleeping or kind of zombie mode and vincent what's your youtube channel name i said you're gonna about earn you a youtube shout out hey go over to our rustic life and subscribe you can uh, post some awesome. more videos absolutely no i mean it though go go subscribe <laughs> seriously go do it it, it really helps me a lot. Oh, there's abe abe you're going last buddy so we're gonna get the chickens first i know he's, he's sitting on those nasty eggs we're gonna get the chickens first and then uh go from there we'll probably get mary and abe tomorrow or something all right, go get that. Let's turn that it. shot up. I'm gonna grab Abe. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you said that's a fancy one that you clip on your shirt. You got it. <laughs> oh, that'll work too. One at a time, I guess. Let's just hope they all don't jump down. <laughs> Got the main rooster. <laughs> Let's go, Sue. I got Sue. I better not fight me. <laughs> Sue's son got a little scared there. Really? This ain't hurting them, did you? You're fine. You get the flock tonight and get the other one. This one got too curious.
I don't even know if you're recording, bro. Yeah, you are. Oh, you are. That's it. <laughs> hey, what? I was like, I don't even know if it's recording. <laughs> I get about four of them. Oh, you almost got that midair. Hmm? That's one of those eggs. I thought you said it broke one of its legs. I got them all stirred up. We'll see what they can do now. That's on your shoulder. They tend to freak out when you do that. Like this? <laughs> oh, you don't have enough hands? Oh, you got too many roosters. Oh, I think I got three roosters and two hands. Or, yeah. Covered leg. Oh, yeah. Somebody got them all started up. There you go. This one right here would be easy to get. Where's that? I can't believe Ava hasn't attacked you. Oh, it's being a little dramatic, wasn't it? They look dead when you hold them like that, but it's really... He's happy. Got that one right there. That one's been... Uh, no, you got that one easy. Bam, perfect. Oh, eggs. How many is left in there? One. You got this. You can't do it with my teeth. <laughs> you sure there ain't none in the nest boxes? No. Good. Relax, buddy. Alright, Abe. Can we get Abe like this? <laughs> Come back tomorrow and we'll get Abe. How much room's left in there? Oh, wow. oh I could fit Abe and Mary in there. I would. We'll do it. We'll all do it tomorrow, though. I don't want them all sitting in there tonight. All right. Hey, Vince. Thanks for all the help hey, today. No problem, man. All right. Go yeah. check out Our Rustic Life on YouTube. Seriously, go do it. <laughs> like, right, right, right now? We meet uh, right now. <laughs> what? What? Y'all ready? Ooh, y'all stink. Y'all stink. Okay. Here's a better look at it. That's what we're, I'm going to be doing this morning. So, like, day three of moving stuff. Um, we're getting close. This is the next morning, obviously, me and my brother got this load up last night. I'm going to show you guys taking this to the property. Uh, I don't know if this is such a good idea, but it's the only option I got at this point because we didn't want to take this whole thing apart. Um, now, if it comes apart on the way, that's a different, that, that's a different story. So well, we're going to go with this right here. Feels pretty sturdy. I'm going to go really, really slow, obviously. We're like 15 miles away, so I think we're going to be okay. As of right now, I haven't left the driveway yet, but you guys will find out. Bring you guys along with me and uh, wish me luck. Like I said, I don't know if this is the best idea, but I think it's going to work. We'll see.
Well, hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoy your new home. Huh, Sue? Where's your little son? Oh, there he is. They're already pecking away and eating. So, I forgot this piece right here, but luckily this um, kennel is big enough to block that hole. So, we're good there. So, no regrets. <laughs> we made it. I went about 25, 30 the whole time. Had zero issues whatsoever. And for any of you guys concerned about the height, power lines and stuff, this was shorter than the camper and way shorter than the than the um, building that they brought out here. So uh, there was no concerns uh, whatsoever on that part. Um, I was just concerned it was going to wobble back and forth and maybe break and come apart, but it held up perfect. So whew, that was a relief because uh, uh, in my head, I always wait to, for the last minute and do stuff like this. Like we it had to be done today um because we're gonna be gone in the next two days i think day or two and uh in my head this is how easy it was gonna go but when we were doing like when we we're getting me and my brother putting it on there i was like man this, this ain't gonna work this ain't gonna work and uh it did so thankful thankful for that for sure let's walk over here and check on the pig feed um then we'll go back we're gonna go back and get abe and mary um later on um the plan is we'll keep them cooped up for oh probably several days um get them used to this area right here i'm gonna get the premier one fencing put up around make a perimeter that's not exactly where that is going to be it's pretty close i need to turn it around but i can't do that by myself i have to wait till my brother gets out here and uh, me and him can move it around and get it set up just how i want but i have to go get abe and mary and the premier one netting and get this complete but i'm relief that was a relief that it went so well let's go check on the on the pig food the pond is full that's for sure and it's a muddy mess and i ain't got my boots with me popping right here we've got so much rain it's been nuts it's never-ending rain season here in Oklahoma Let's see if I can get in here without falling down they have made their they've made their own little this is where they've been nesting you might say oh I still got some okay They're down to about 15 pounds. I'm gonna put another bag in here, um, clear that little, clear that little piece out. One side's feeding really good. The other one's got full of mud, so I'm gonna clean that out. Now this, now this looks like this is in the water because it is, but the top, the bottom part doesn't have any um, electricity going through it, so it's just above the water line. So we don't have any issues there. But if you just glance at it, it's like, oh, that thing's all the way in the water. And what's that? Get off him. Are they not getting so much bigger since the last time you guys seen them? They're huge. And that one likes boys, I guess. Crazy.
Okay, y'all stay off each other and enjoy your, look at the steam coming off of them. I don't know if you can see that or not. It's a humid sucker out here today already. I think it's about 7.30 and uh, it's probably 90% humidity already here in Oklahoma. Here's one cool thing I haven't told you guys yet um, because I haven't seen you, I haven't seen you guys, I haven't talked to y'all since yesterday. I didn't film anything yesterday. Yeah, I filmed stuff last night, but anyways, the whole day we didn't film anything, we are moving stuff. But we got our fiber optic hooked up on the trailer. I may be the only off-grid channel um, that you can find that has high-speed fiber optic. And some of you guys may think, we're not off-grid yet. Well, in my book, I am. Check this out. So they hooked it up. And I'm pretty sure it's faster than what we got at the farmhouse. Um, so yeah, if you guys are agreeing with me, I think off-grid is not being rely, not being dependent on the power grid or water grid and things like that we don't have to live we don't need to live obviously uh, so it's not a necessity it's more of a luxury and we need it for youtube so it is what it is but this is what we we got stuff scattered everywhere right now um, once we get out here in the next day two days we have to start situating stuff getting stuff put in the in the shed better we gotta rearrange that a little bit but i got the girls goat carts out here Got some outdoor kitchen or outdoor uh, tables and stuff and some other things that we got set up and uh we about uh with the help of my father-in-law mother-in-law and my brother we've about got the house um empty we got all almost all the big stuff we got a couple more things like the washer and dryer which we're going to put in the shed right there and uh, a couple deep freezers and that's the that's the main big stuff um on all the other little stuffs like clothes and knickknacks and uh, pictures and things like that but we since we got off our vacation we have been busting it non-stop and that's only been about four days ago um, so it's been non-stop um, going after it going after it and we're closing uh, on the house in the next day or two and uh, we'll bring you guys along for that uh, i don't know if i'm going to film any more at, at the house if i do i'll see you guys here in a little bit if not hope you guys enjoyed this part of uh, us moving moving the chickens and um, we'll get Abe and Mary out here today sometime. And uh, love you guys. Can't thank you enough for all the support and uh, we'll catch you on next video. Thanks for watching.